There's only one reading, so I'm doing the reading. Okay. But you're doing the welcome. Yes. Okay. And then we're both doing the parents of the faith. Okay. So I'm not quite sure how we're supposed to do that. Okay. I, I guess we should both come over together. Yeah. Because it yeah. doesn't. I don't think we should back and forth. So okay. if when we come to the parents of the faithful, you want to do your three first, and then okay. I'll do mine too. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. okay. Do they have? They don't have to be in a certain order. No. No. Just the welcome. I'll do the first reading. They'll do the psalm. No second reading. Okay. And when the prayers of the faithful. Perfect. Okay. I don't know why they split them up, but they did. <laughs> awesome. So you can be pink. I'll be okay. green. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs>
um, is there an announcement about don't take pictures and all that stuff? Okay, good, good, okay. Okay, so is someone going to wave to me up back there? Up for, yeah. Okay. Okay, fine. And then we'll sure. That's Welcome to St. Mary Parish and our Eucharist for our youngsters who are receiving their first communion. We gather in this holy sanctuary this day to offer worship to our God and to receive his son Jesus in holy communion. This is a wonderful day and moment for our parish faith community. Just a few reminders. Communion is only received in the hand at St. Mary's. Please place your hand outstretched parallel to the floor, perhaps supported by your other hand to receive the host at communion time. Also, there is no active collection at our masses. You are asked to place your financial support for our parish in the baskets at the doors of the church. And there is a professional photographer to take a picture at the time of each individual reception so that no one may leave their bench to take pictures at any time during the Mass. 
Please respect your neighbors who are following the request. Pictures may be taken outside afterwards anywhere on the church grounds. Please stand for our gathering hymn found in your program. <laughs> Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lost to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and eat without money. Come and drink without price. My feast of gladness will feed your spirit with faith and fullness of life. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We welcome everyone who gathers here this day in honor of our First Communion young people, parents, grandparents, godparents, aunties, uncles, siblings, brothers, sisters, family, and friends. This is indeed a very special and graced moment for our parish. We are glad to be here to celebrate the Holy Eucharist and to witness the reception of Holy Communion for our young people. To prepare ourselves for this special celebration, let us pause and call to mind our failures and our wrongdoings and ask for the Lord's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us bow our heads in prayer. O oh God, you who have accomplished the work of human redemption through the paschal mystery of your only begotten Son, graciously grant that we who confidently proclaim under the sacramental signs the death and resurrection of Christ may experience continued increase of your saving grace. We ask your blessings to surround our young people as on this day they receive communion for the first time. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word.
One day, Paul, a friend of Jesus, wrote a letter to some other Christians, and this is what he said. The cup of wine that we share makes us one in the very life of Jesus, and the bread that we eat together in memory of him is also a sharing in his life. It seems strange that we all share the same life together, and yet we do. We are all one family because we share the same bread and the same cup of wine. The word of the Lord. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness Please stand for the acclamation and proclamation of the gospel.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. People were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to the disciples, Let the children come to me, don't prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced them and blessed them, placing his hands on them. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. So, I have a brief talk to give shortly, but I have two announcements to make. Both of them are very important ones. Mrs. Ackles has informed me, despite the confusion and difficulty over the pandemic, how wonderful the parents have been in helping their child to learn about First Communion and about Jesus. And in her opinion, this group here is the best class ever in the history of St. Mary's Parish. So I want that publicly said. <laughs> Number two, in my opinion, as pastor of the parish, the most important people every year is always the First Communion student. So I declare again, you are the most important people of the parish of St. Mary's 2022. That's two big declarations that have a lot of meaning to adults at least. So what I'd like to do is ask a few questions. You're going to be shocked by how easy they are. But to answer, you have to raise your hand high, because we're all the way down the main aisle. And secondly, if I call upon you, you have to stand up and use that famous outdoor voice. For two reasons. One is this is a big room, and there's a lot of people here. And secondly, I'm old, I'm a man, and so I'm deaf, okay? <laughs> Men are deaf, ask wives, okay? So I got a few questions for you. Maybe I'll start with the easiest question. How old do you think I am? <laughs> okay, you raised your hand. You can stand up now, loud voice. 87, <laughs> not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, we're going to come down here. Who else had their hand up who wants to make a guess? I'm a grandparent age. I'm, you know, if I was married with kids and grandchildren, I'd be called Grampy. Yes, dear. 67, I like that. <laughs> You're closer. Yes, sir. 71. That's even closer. That's pretty good. Those are both younger than what I am. So we'll try one more and then we'll move on. 73, exactly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now, Father Frank's up there, Father Jack's up there. They both look their age. I'm not revealing that. I gotta live in the same rectory. But They've told me, others have told me, I don't look 73 because I got young skin. See that? I only look 66 or 67, like a child. So, I've lived a long time. I have a lot of memories. This today will be a great memory in your life. The parents have many more memories. Grandparents, aunts, uncles, everyone has memories in their head. 
Hopefully, many of them are wonderful and great. So, in terms of religion, okay, we're going to turn to religion. What do you think are my two greatest memories in religion, or church and stuff? What do you think? There's two of them, because I'm old, so I can have two great ones. When you're young, you can only have one great one. Yes, sir. Okay, he said reconciliation and communion. One of them is one of the great memories, first communion. What's my other great memory? One other one. Sometimes yes, sometimes not. Yes, sir. Confirmation, another sacrament. Very well said, but not my great memory. We're very, very, very astute. Anyone else want to try a wild guess? Baptism? I was a little baby when I was baptized. I don't remember anything. And I was the olden days. So in the olden days, the Sunday after you came home from the hospital, you were baptized. That's how it all happened. It was over before it started. Father and the two godparents went to it. No one else. Old church. Not better, but old. Yes. Becoming a priest. Excellent. Boy, that is good. It's okay to get advice from others. So my two great memories are First Communion, and I'm going to come back to that. That's what I want to talk about. This is First Communion. The other is I was ordained a priest back in 1974 at the big cathedral in Boston by much missed, much beloved Cardinal Medeiros. So I've been a priest, I think, about shortly 48 years. That's a long run. And I have to say, still my most favorite masses are First Communion masses. First Communion and Christmas Midnight. Those are the masses that matter. But back to First Communion, since we're here for this. Why does First Communion have a lot of meaning for me? For this reason. I'm one of six kids. I was number four. And my, every Sunday, without fail, rain, snow, sleet, sun, cool, hot, damp, my family went to church every single Sunday. And we were a handful. God, were we a handful. But my mother and father took us to church every week. From infant, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on. So, when I was like four or five, I sort of remember going, starting to go to church and going to church. And at communion time, my mother and father and all us kids went up to communion but only some could receive communion. And at one point, I was the only one who couldn't go to communion. And I felt bad. I felt left out. So when my first communion rolled around at 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning, how do you like that for beans? Lo and behold, I made my first communion. I was so excited that I belong like everyone else, that I could receive Jesus in communion. So today, you take a big, giant step forward, and you get to receive communion. And in many ways, you now fully belong like everybody else. You don't have to walk up beside your parents and not receive. You get to receive Christ in the house. Now, we have a lot of big theologians with big, big pointy heads who've written thousands and probably millions and billions of words and doctoral dissertations. 
We have bishops and popes and archbishops and cardinals who have written all sorts of letters about the Eucharist and Mass. But it boils down to this. For Catholics, the hallmark of who we are is that we go to Mass to receive communion, to receive the body of Christ. Now, it looks like bread, little host, but we know, though we don't understand how, and I must confess, I use computers, I don't know how in the name of God most of them work, nor do I want to know, but it is what it is. So we know, though we don't really understand, that Jesus is present in that host. Now, you've been studying in religion, and you're going to continue to. So you're going to learn a lot more about Jesus, what he said, what he did, what he meant, how God helps us in our lives. But today is a great day for you, for your parents, and your family. For you receive, in a special graced way, Jesus in communion. And we will now stand for the prayer of the faithful. Loving Father, we lift up to you this day these prayers and petitions. We pray for all of our families. May God bless them and keep them safe. We pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, we pray to the Lord. For those who are sick and hospitalized, we pray to the Lord. For all those serving in the military, we pray to the Lord. For the petitions on the St. Mary prayer wall, we pray to the Lord. Loving Father, you always hear our prayers. Hear the prayers that are in our hearts and these words that we ask you this day. And we ask this in the name of Jesus, your Son, through the power of the Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Our preparation hymn is in your program, One Bread, One Body. <clears throat> Sweet blood. 
Please stand and pray that our gifts and sacrifices and hard work may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we ask your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us a sign of unity and the bond of charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, Christ offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make us holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with the hosts of angels cry out and without end we now acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this and memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring us to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope, Sean Patrick, our Bishop. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, O God, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Please stand. Let us ask our Father in heaven to forgive us our failures and trespasses and to bring us to forgive those who have failed us or trespassed against us. <coughs> our Father, who Lord, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with thy spirit. Let us offer one another a nod, a sign of peace. the reception of communion, please be seated.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Graced are we called to the supper of the Lamb. For reception of communion as the candidates and families come forth, the family would stay back about three feet behind the young candidate until she or he receives communion would be appreciated. Remember, communion is received in the hand with a flat outreach roughly parallel to the ground. That would be appreciated. Family and candidates will return to their seats by the side aisle. The far sections of the church on the side will be receiving communion from a minister who will be at the head of the aisle for you. Thank you. Please join in our communion hymn, which is Take and Eat, which is in your program. <clears throat>
ransom is my blood. Take and eat. Take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink. Take and drink. This is my Jesus 
Hand out flat. <clears throat> the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. <clears throat> the body of Christ. <clears throat> Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Christ. 
body of Christ. You know, keep your hands together. The body of Christ. 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 Satisfy the hungry heart with gifts of finest sweet. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they low and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gifts of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to Joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude that you should count us worthy, Lord, to share this heavenly food. You satisfy the hungry heart with gifts of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Is not the cup we bless and share, the blood of Christ outpoured? Do not one cup, one loaf declare. Satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. The mystery of your presence, Lord, no mortal tongue can tell. comes in our hearts to dwell. You satisfy a hungry heart with gifts of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to Body of Christ. <coughs> Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The Body of Christ. Mm -hmm. You're going to go that way. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. We're just going to wait for your family to catch up, okay? Body of Christ, put your hands up flat. Amen. Body of Christ. The 
body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Hands flat. Body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Christ. Hi, pal. Hi. Body of Christ. 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 Not yet. Not yet. Soon though. He already knows how to receive communion. The body of Christ, hands flat for me. The body of Christ. Excellent. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. No one who be needs shall ever the body of Christ. All that the Father draws shall body of Christ. And the body of Christ. Love. 
you might be Before we say the final prayer and blessing, I want to acknowledge and express appreciation to Karen Ackles, the Director of Religious Ed, to Liz Bertoni, our Administrative Assistant, to all the volunteers who help in particular for our children, and also to you parents who really set the standard and model of faith for your children. So in teaching them, they are learning the faith through you, their primary teacher. So that's sort of a beautiful and wonderful thing. Their faith becomes what you share with them and help them to nurture and grow. I also want to thank Terry Kerr, our pianist and music director, and Stephanie Abrams for being here today. Our lectors, our greeters and ushers, and butlers as I call them at times, and also Father Frank and Father Jack, the parochial vicar, Father Frank, retired in residence, and to Deacon Ron. Thank you all for being here. Your information. Ron, the last name mentioned, your name triggered the applause. Uh, you're welcome to take pictures inside here, immediately following the Mass. Remember, other people might want to stand where you're standing. Their picture's taken. You're also welcome all over the grounds outside. We're very fortunate, it's 70 degrees and sunny and the lawn is essentially green and the bushes look good. So go wherever you'd like, take whatever pictures you'd like because you're most welcome too. This is an important religious event in the life of your child and of your own. This is a high spiritual moment. Let us take pictures to remember and treasure this time. So let us stand and pray. May sharing at the heavenly table sanctify us, Lord, so that through the body and blood of Christ, the whole family of believers may be bound together. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. We ask God's blessings especially upon our young people this day. And may Almighty God bless us all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Closing hymn is in your program, Sing, Sing of the Lord's Goodness. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Sing of the Lord's goodness, Father of all wisdom, come to him and bless his name. Mercy he has shown us, his love is forever, faithful to the end of days. Come then, all you nations, sing of your Lord's goodness, melodies of praise and thanks to God. Bring out the Lord's glory, praise him with your music, worship him and bless his name. Power he has wielded, honor is his garment, risen from the sins of death. His word he has spoken, one bread he has broken, new life he now gives to all. Come in, all you nations, sing of your Lord's goodness, melodies of praise and thanks to God. Bring out the Lord's glory, praise him with your music, worship him and bless his name. 